What you're looking at here, this is the Optimus 3D. This is essentially um, what the AT&T Thrill 4G is going to look like. However, it's good to mention that we are looking at the Optimus 3D, which is a global product. So this is basically similar or essentially what that's going to look like. Obviously, we're still looking at a prototype device here. Okay, so this is not final hardware or software. Um, the great thing about Optimus 3D is this is all about 3D and that 3D space. Um, so if you notice on here, um, we've got a 3D space key. So I'm just going to hold down that key right there. Okay, and this is actually going to take me into my 3D space. So my 3D uh, graphics and so forth like that. Okay, y'all are able to get Okay. Now one thing to keep in mind on the technology that we're using, this is glasses free 3D. So what we're using on this is actually what they call a parallax barrier. And the cool thing about the parallax barrier, it actually is two images, okay, um, at different distances, and it combines those in through the parallax barrier that's actually a thin layer on top of our LCD panel, and that gives us the idea of 3D. So that's how we get glasses free. If you notice under our, L, um, our uh, L, uh, 3D space here, we've got your gaming, um, we got our 3D guide that pretty much takes us through all our 3D functionality. Um, YouTube, and the good thing to bring these up is we actually sponsor 3T uh, YouTube 3D. We're going to be an exclusive sponsor for that for a limited time, and we'll be able to be able to record, <laughs> upload content, and share that content all in three directly from YouTube. Um, another cool application here is we've got our 3D gallery. This is where we're going to house all our uh, 3D pictures and videos. Over here we got our 3D camera, and it's a good thing to point out that everything as far as video, um, as well as standard uh, cameras can be done in 3D as well as 2D. Um, and our games and apps, and this is what we're going to get into, okay? The cool thing about this is actually uh, there's a couple uh, try and buy games on here, so we're going to load one up here. We're going to go into Asphalt, which seems to be a really, really cool one. And rather than actually play the game for the sake of time, we're actually going to go into our trailer here just so you guys can get an idea of 3D. Now on the camera you won't be able to see 3D, but what you're going to be looking at um, is the parallax barrel, so it's the image of 3D. Um, the optimal viewing distance of this is about 30 to about 40 centimeters, okay? So pretty much about arm's length away. So that's going to be an idea of uh, kind of our 3D content. We're kind of like re real driving then. Absolutely. And it's going to be that 3D feel, which is cool. Um, now one thing to keep in mind um, is even though we're using Parallax Barrier for our 3D technology, um, on the back, essentially, it's two cameras or two 5 megapixel cameras. They are stereoscopic, so even though that we're viewing it in Parallax Barrier on the front screen, it will report in, uh, in uh, pretty much like a passive 3D, so we can view this in, uh, in like a passive 3D if we have a 3D TV. Oh, which is good to point out. Can you point out the uh, difference in technology between this screen and the screen of the new Evo? Because I noticed that this seems to pop off the screen a little bit more than that one. Well, you know what? I've actually haven't had a chance to actually go over and use this product. And what I can say is about the Optimus 3D is we're using the Parallax Vera technology. And also, when we're going to a gaming application or a 3D application, um, we're going to have a depth bar that actually will come up on the top of the handset. And what that will allow me to do is control the depth. So what I can do is say, let's say I want it to be real in depth. Or let's say it's making me a little dizzy. I can kind of pull that back a little bit, even move it into a 2D mode if I want to do that. So that's actually a great question. Um, another thing that we like to point out on this um, is to be able to drive this. We're actually using a phenomenal processor. We're using the uh, the TI or Texas Instruments OMAP 4430 processor. It's actually dual core, dual channel, dual memory. And the advantage of that is being able to access applications faster, all the 3D rendering and the 3D gaming. That fully takes advantage of that. One gigahertz. It's actually a good question. It's a one gigahertz dual core, so it's two one gigahertz cores stacked on the one die, and then we have one memory module that you can go different channels through, so each core can access access that channel simultaneously, and that actually is going to be the speed as far as like the 3D graphics and your rendering. Let's see if we can pull a video up on here, Let's see if we got one loaded. Get into my video player here, Let's see if we got some content on here. Oh yeah, they did. Uh, we've got actually a preview. Let's go. Here we go. This is actually some three good 3D video to show on here. Um, Keep in mind here what we're looking at back on playback. When we're recording and playing back, it will do 720p for 3D content, 1080p for 2D content. Um, it is full HDMI, okay? So if I'm looking on here, it's a micro HDMI um, that's located right here where my finger is. And if I'm hooking onto there, it would actually be uh, what we call a clone or a direct image of what we see on the screen, what we're going to see on our, our TV that we're hooking it up to.
And this is actually a view of a 3D video that you're looking at. And this is what we call our Optimus UI. Um, let's go ahead and jump back on here in the home button. Now, it has a couple of different things. What we do is called a pinch gesture or a pinch in. And what they'll do is we'll go multiple different screens here. And the advantage of this is I can move my screens around. Also, if I'm creating a widget and throwing it into a screen, it's going to be easier to find out where I have open space. Also, if there's a screen that I'm not using, um, I can grab this and I can drag it and I can toss that if I want to. Other applications that use this is even my applications category. I can pinch in here and pull all these gestures in. I can also create categories and then add applications to those categories. So it'll work there as well. That'll also work within your messaging as well as your email as well to make it easier. Another cool thing that we did on the Optimus UI, if I slide through here, um, I'm actually going to hold the screen down here and we're going to pull up a menu. If you notice down here, I've got categories of widgets, shortcuts, folders, and then wallpaper. So everything is very organized on here. A couple of cool little uh, widgets that we've added on here. Uh, we've added our Today screen, which we should be going to give us a weather at the time, um, some updates there. Um, we got a What's New screen um, that I can actually find on here and the great thing about the what's new screen um, it's actually going to give me input on uh, new Facebook content new emails voice messages and so forth like that so it's going to let me know of what I missed so I can go and view that content um, there's multiple number widgets there's actually uh, multimedia widgets that we have in here and what that's going to do is make an easier flow um, so I can actually pull up all my content and easily sift through there. So what it's doing is just making your life a lot easier and an easier way to navigate through the handset. Yeah, this is something that LG did and we're calling it the uh, Optimus UI. So it'll basically minimize all of your categories. And if you want to go just...